Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves us. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. All you nations sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Joyfully shout, all you on earth. Give praise to God the glory of God, and with him sing out his glorious praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let all the earth kneel in his sight, extolling his marvelous fame. Honor his name in highest heaven. Give praise. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come forth to see all the great works that God has brought forth by his might. Fall on your knees before your glory, his glorious throne. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory and thanks be to the Father, honor and praise to the Son, and to the Spirit, source of life and of love. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joyfully shout, all you on earth, give praise to the glory of God, and with a hymn sing out his glorious praise. Hallelujah. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning, in the morning it springs up in flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your furor. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is 70 years or 80 for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we're gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. O oh Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity on your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, and villages where Kadar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry against the enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage and will dry, they will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey by paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of Egyptians he smote of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of our land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Where two or three gather in your name, Lord, you promise to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family gathered here in your name, and graciously pour out your blessing upon us. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. A reading from Judith, chapter 8. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham and how he tried Isaac and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. 
Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in him, let us pray, we praise you, Lord, we hope in you. We thank you because you are rich in mercy and for the abundant love with which you have loved us. With the Father, you are always at work in the world. Make all things new through the power of your Holy Spirit. Open our eyes and the eyes of our brothers to see your wonders this day. You call us today to your service. Make us stewards of your many gifts. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Creator, you gave us the earth to cultivate and the sun to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.